Good afternoon from Croke Park. As you can see, it is a very, very, very quiet place this Monday. I was here yesterday for the Monaghan and Tyrone match. I was here two weeks ago for the Cork and Limerick match. And of course, I've been here many times over the years as a good, solid Cork supporter. Um, the reason that I decided to record a video here is that the reason that I'm here today, when no one else is, or so it looks like at the moment, it certainly wasn't like that earlier on today, is because I was here for the launch of the Asian Gaelic Games. So the Asian County Board um, and a number of their members came over. They held a launch today of the Asian Gaelic Games, sponsored by Fexco, that's taking place in Bangkok in November. And I just think it's really important to let our teenagers know that there is a huge community of Irish people out there waiting to help you, waiting to welcome you to wherever it is that you might be. So I have had much experience, and I've told a lot of you this, about being part of business networks abroad. And I've also told you about being part of philanthropic networks abroad and the Global Irish and the, what the Department of Foreign Affairs are doing, etc. But it is also important to mention that the GAA presents such an amazing opportunity wherever it is that you might decide to go. So a couple of weeks ago, I was at the All China Games in Shanghai and I met people there from Korea and from all over China, so from Beijing and Shanghai. I met people from Hong Kong, uh, I met people from Singapore <clears throat> and they, they were just the China Games. So I just want to let you know that in November, and this was the whole purpose of today, in November up to a thousand people will be going to Bangkok for the All Asian Games. Um, the participation there will be about 55 male, 45% female. And uh, this has been going on for 23 years. So when we listen to Enterprise Ireland encouraging us to look east, as it is, Enterprise Ireland is the largest, we'll say, entrepreneurship network uh, in Ireland. Or when we look at, uh, you might have come across Ireland's Global Footprint 2025, which is what the government intends to do around expanding it is international footprint around the world. The thing is, the GA is there already. It's there, it's first Asian Games is in 1996 in Manila. And as I say, this one is going to be in Bangkok, it's been in Singapore, been in Hong Kong, it's been in, been in Shanghai, it's been all over. And I just think it's so important that our young people know. Now, of course, I'm still young as well, just in case. <laughs> but it is so important for you to know that if it is the case that you land in a foreign land, let's say you go to Tokyo, and you may not know the language, <clears throat> you may not know many people, and you may be in an unfamiliar job, and all of this sounds really, really exciting to you, is that you can still join your local GA club and you can still go to your local chamber of commerce and you can still go to your consulate. And, and there's a community there. And there's a community everywhere. I'll just give you an example. I was in Vietnam last November and there are two GA clubs in Vietnam. There's the, um, the Viet Kels and there's the Saigon Gales. That's in Vietnam. You know, that is not a, a country that traditionally an awful lot of Irish would be, but it really is, I have to say, from what I have learned about working with the Asian GA, of which I've only known for a couple of months, um, the community is out there and it's waiting for you. It truly, truly is out there and it's waiting for you. And the amount of prospects that are in the world and growing on a daily basis um, are phenomenal. And by the way, it's not just about our teenagers knowing this, it's about all of our, it's about all of us knowing about this. It's about knowing what, if our nieces and nephews or cousins or friends, kids are going out there uh, and you're wondering, you know, how will they get on? There really is, the global diaspora are absolutely incredible. And I have to say, based on what I saw this morning, I can really see a key, tangible, architectural strength of it. And we listened to a number of different speakers. Liam Horan, uh, the president of the GA, was here today. Bernard Brogan, a uh, Dublin GA player. Um, many of you will know him. Uh, Ruth McCarthy, CEO of Fexco Payments, uh, she was here. I met people from uh, Ladies Football. I met people from Camogie. I met people from here in Croke Park. Uh, I met people who are in all parts of, of Asia. There was uh, somebody uh, this morning from Korea sorry, from Thailand, actually, who, um, who was over as well this morning, just to really give that message out there that the GA is alive and well in Asia. And it's there. It's there to be the landing pad of the Irish. So this morning, from a beautiful, if, I'll just show you another side of it here, if a uh, very silent Croke Park, um, in the very week, of course, when we do have the All-Ireland Hurling Final, um, best wishes, and bear that in mind, there's a lot of people out there, and the opportunity, truly, are boundless.